What we do here is go back, 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 back. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mello. Tori has officially been sentenced for the shooting of Megan the Stallion and the internet is once again, well, divided. The shade room broke it all down, so let's check it out. It says Tory Lane sentenced to 10 years in state prison for shooting Megan the Stallion. While in court, Tory Lane refers to Megan the Stallion as someone he still cares for dearly to this day during sentencing. It says Tory spoke for several minutes. He said he still cares about Megan. He called her someone I still care for dearly to this day, regardless of what she may think of him. He said, the victim's my friend. He talked about bonding with her over the loss of their mothers. It goes on to say, we both lost our mothers. We would sit there and drink and drink until we got numb. About the shooting, I said some very immature things that I shouldn't have said. He also goes on to say, I revealed some secrets I shouldn't have revealed. The internet then took to social media to voice their opinions and this is what they had to say. One user tweeted, no way Tory Lanez got 10 years. Someone else said, Tory Lanez getting sentenced to 10 years in prison for a shoddy that was twerking shortly after the internet is disheartening to say the least. Another user tweeted, Tory Lanez didn't deserve 10 years. That's insane. They'll crucify black men any chance they get. Someone else tweeted, Tory Lanez going to jail for 10 years. Justice has finally been served. And another user tweeted, Tory Lanez didn't deserve that huge sentence. Five years would have been a fair one. You know, Tory does have a history of violence, so it was honestly only a matter of time before he did some jail time. In a previous video, I spoke about the incident Tory had with August Alsina. You know, the one where he jumped August backstage because August didn't shake his hand. Just in case you forgot, check out this clip. <laughs> Man, I wish we got that. I did get it. Damn. Don't do it. You already shot Megan. You knocked his ass out, Tori. You knocked him out. That shit. Tori said he just knocked August out. See the ass right out. One punch crushed him, Tori. He said one punch crushed his ass. Look up. Look up. <laughs> now, Tory has shown that he has a short temper, pun intended. Yesterday, it was also reported that Tory could face deportation as he's originally from Canada. Megan also shared that since the incident, she hasn't experienced a single day of peace. It says Megan says she struggled with whether to attend in person and her absence should be seen as her preserving her mental well-being. She says since Tory shot her, I've not experienced a single day of peace. He lied to anyone that would listen, Megan said of Tory. Megan said mercy is for people who show remorse and Lane has shown none. She thanked the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office for their support and she also wants the sentence to be a message for every woman who has faced violence. As I said before, you know, I don't have a dog in this fight. On one hand, you know, I understand why people have wrote Megan off and they don't believe her. When she went on Good Morning America and lied about her and Tori having sex, then it came out in court that they really did have sex. People branded Megan as a liar. I'm not exactly sure why she lied, but you know, it was frustrating to say the least. You know, I also didn't understand why a lot of people don't want to see another black man go to jail. However, actions have consequences. You can't be jumping people backstage and going around shooting at people all willy nilly. You know, the world doesn't work like that. Is 10 years an excessive sentence? <sighs> I honestly can't say, but I'm definitely hoping for the best for everybody involved. Tory's son will now grow without his father. And at the end of the day, you know, Megan did go through a traumatic event of being shot. And you know, I just hope she's able to go on and have better days. Same for Tory too. You know, I hope that he's able to now get the help that he needs. And I also hope that he's able to learn from this. This incident happened all the way in 2020 and three years later, the saga is finally concluded. This case was exhausting and I was just on the outside looking in. I can't even imagine how it was for those involved. 
If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if that's okay too. Don't forget to drop a comment down below to let me know what you think. How do you feel about Tori being sentenced to 10 years in prison? What are your thoughts on Megan? Do you believe her or are you not with her? And as always, if you're not already, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and I'll catch you all on the next one.